It's not hard to get excited by a Mercedes AMG sports car aimed at the Porsche 911. But it can be hard to wrap your head around the Mercedes AMG GT lineup. First there was the GTS, which was followed by an intra level, Nons GT. Then came the other bookend, the top of the line GTR, and the race car, which gets no name at all beyond the class it sometimes competes in, Mercedes AMG GT3. Then came the inevitable GT convertible, the GTC, which seemed to be positioned as the roadster complement to the GTS coupe, until it was announced that there will be a GTC coupe as well. Naturally, there's also an ARC convertible. There's no word on an ARC convertible, although there will be a Ford or model from AMG badged as a GT that almost certainly will be available in many, if not all, of the aforementioned trim levels. When discussing these options with your spouse or financial manager, keep in mind that there are GTS and C coupes and convertibles, but Mercedes also makes S and class coupes and convertibles, which cover a wide price range. Employ specifics and vagaries as necessary to obtain a blessing for your desired derivative. Irrational pie, as confusing as all this can seem, it's what you do when chasing the 911. You slice your python and add so many layers, spin-offs, and special editions, the GTC's first has already been announced, that it starts to resemble a pie five minutes after it was served to an unsupervised toddler. Or a model of the solar system that accounts for at least three more dimensions than the average human is cognizant of. Or the frenzied pursuit of money, 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 money. At any rate. We now have driven two more slices branch warm fields of the space-time pie, the GT Roadster and GTC Roadster. Weight gain compared with the coupes is minimal, just 110 or so pounds in the GT and only about 75 pounds in the C, according to Mercedes. A trunk lid of carbon fiber composite offsets some of the gain. The Roadsters get additional bracing in the dashboard and the rear bulkhead, a rear tower brace, and reinforced sills. The result is a car that not once in our drive around central Arizona shuddered or otherwise reminded us it was a convertible, except when we realized our faces were assuming the texture of pork cracklins. Luckily, the top raises all hours in just 11 seconds, at speeds up to 31 miles per hour. Hot V, Hot Stats, both versions faithfully track their coupe siblings. For the GT. That means 469 horsepower and 465 lbft of torque from the twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 rooted to a rear mounted 7 speed dual clutch automatic transaxle. For the GTC, the 8 pumps out 81 more horses, 550 in total, and 502 lbft of torque. The C borrows quite a few pieces from the lunatic GTR coupe much of it concentrated in the back half of the car. The C shares with the R its wider rear fenders, rear steering system, taller first and shorter seventh gears, taller final drive ratio, and electronically controlled limit slip differential. Both drop tops borrow the grille shutters from the top dog's front fascia and its dynamic engine and transmission mounts, which vary their stiffness lessening it to isolate the occupants from the thrashing of the driver train's mass or firming up to better control load transfer during aggressive driving. Like the coupe, the AMG GT Roadster is snug inside. Pop the hood and it's easy to see why, the traditional AMG engine cover, signed by the engine builder, of course, is right there at the front of the bay. But on second glance, you realize that the cover isn't actually concealing the engine. It covers the radiator and coolant of a flow tank, plus assorted hoses and ducting. The turbos poke up behind the cover, where the engine sits well after the front axle center line. Viewed as a whole, the actual engine and misplaced cover give the impression of a V16 or something rather more exotic than a turbo V8. Not that the V8 doesn't generate plenty of excitement. The turbos dull its soundtrack somewhat but the exhaust supplies plenty of pops on overrun, and the thrust is undeniable. Throttle mapping varies with the driving mode, comfort, sport, and sport plus, and a race mode on the sea, but even at its most relaxed, the engine's response is immediate. Figure on the GT hitting 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 or so seconds, with the sea needing about 3.0 seconds.
GTC drivers will appreciate that model simplified launch control activation, whereby a traditional brake took approach, left foot on the brake, the right mashing the gas, frees the engine to rev to whatever speed the driver chooses using the shift paddles. Then just step out of the brake, the clutch dumps, and the car is gone. Stuck like glue, that rearward positioning of the engine does wonders for the GT's handling, which is simply stupefying. The GT is imperturbable, constantly goading its driver to enter corners faster, accelerate earlier and harder, and brake later. The stoppers are firm, progressive, and tireless. And the GT is daringly neutral, particularly with the C's rear steering, which adds up to 1.5 degrees of tow either in phase with the front wheels above 62 miles per hour or opposite them at lower speeds. A lighter lithium ion battery and a magnesium radiator support the latter, also common to the base roads to shift the C's weight distribution rearward. Locating the occupants so far aft in the body amplifies the sensation of rotation, although neither car ever feels out of sorts. And while the GTC offers additional levels of damper firmness, and its most aggressive setting is notably stiffer than both its and the GT's default mode, none is ever harsh. It is an effective apex duster and a comfortable tourer. You'd better pack light, however, as the trunk is fairly tight and there's little interior storage. In terms of people's space, the GT lands between the Jaguar type on the low end and the Rumia 911. Both versions of the GT Roadster will be in US dealers by this fall, but Mercedes has yet to announce pricing for either. Figure on the intra-level car starting around $135,000 in the sea reaching into the dollar $160 KS. At least in the financial sense, the hierarchy is clear.